Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard for Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batsell Art. And I've got a ring pour cup, some white gloss enamel for the bottom of it. I'm just going to use some Prussian blue. I'm going to layer my paints. And because I'm using the enamel and I'm going to try to restrict the amount I use. Oh, I guess I didn't open that. Son of a gun. Okay. Well, maybe it's time to use a different one. Maybe it's just time to open the one I want. That was pretty easy. Good thing. So this is the Neon Purple from Folk Art. And I like that a lot. This is the Venetian Blue from Modern Masters. And I put those two together. Yes, I did. And I shouldn't have. This is the Purple Flash from Folk Art. So my colors are going to be pretty similar, and I'm going to try and remember to keep adding the white in between every layer. And when I get to the end, more white, I think that's a folk art white. It could be a deco art, but I believe it's a folk art, and it's gloss, and they work just as well as the alternative, which is a semi-gloss. If you can't find it, don't worry about it. So at a certain point, I have to decide to stop, and I've got at least a half a pitcher, and I think that's going to be enough. I'm going to do that. That's a turquoise metallic. I'm not sure who makes it. I think I have enough paint in here. I'm planning on doing this fairly quickly. I'm going to add one ring pour in the center. And we should get something similar to a cloud pour, I'm expecting, just because there's that enamel in there. It's not something I usually add. And usually when I do a ring pour, I put a lot more paint down. But in this case, I want to see how far I can stretch what I get in the center before moving along to adding some more in a similar area. And the further out I stretch the paint, the more likely I am to be able to keep the pattern I'm not too concerned with the shape that much. I'm only moving it in a circle so that I don't have rivulets. I'm trying to watch the mass of paint. I've got some cool patterns happening. It's definitely cloud pour esque for sure. I didn't put any gold in there and I wish I had to remember to do so, but you know, I can always add some gold now. Should I desire it? That looks like it needs some Floetrol. All right, so what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do just what I did again. Yep, the music was on, bummer. Okay then. I am going to try and not be too depressed about that. And I'm going to continue to rotate my pattern with that little bit of gold in between, which doesn't seem to be showing up much, but I haven't stretched it as far as out, out as I can stretch it either. Well, at least I know the next video won't have any music on it because we finally figured out to turn the stereo off. I haven't done exactly this style of manipulation before. I've done separate areas one at a time, but I haven't done just the straight out ring pour. And I can always add more colors in between, which is a thought. I kind of like that thought too. I'm going to rock my edge catcher and send my paint right back in. Now, do I have any more turquoise? Because I like that turquoise in there. So I think because I like that turquoise in there, I'm going to add some more turquoise in there. Go figure. Let's just come down. Let's break my rule and not worry. About doing anything in a conventional way. I like adding stripes. If I move that mass of paint down here, then in theory, I can move it around and fill in the gap. 
I can also fill in the gap with a skewer or I could put chain in there. I don't really want to get rid of all of that neon purple. But who's to say what'll happen if I stretch it out again? Oh, we're getting some really cool cells. This, the cells are not from silicone. The cells are strictly from using the enamel acrylic. And you can see how other things are moving, but they're not moving as far or as fast. So we have these generally very different areas. Now, one of the things I really like to do add paint on top of other areas to see what happens and that's just got great cells in it. I could stop because I use GAC 800 by Golden and all of my paint mixtures and it keeps the paint from cracking when it's heavy but um, I'm not really worried about it right yet because I really want to follow through on this whole experimental plan. So what I'm going to do this time is let that paint flow right off onto the edge catcher, grab an OXO omelet training spatula Take that paint and put it right on, right back on the canvas next to it. Oh, I've got some on my tile. Question is, do I have any more on my? I got a bunch more on my spatula. So these spatulas are OXO omelet turning spatulas, and I'm kind of pretty sure that everybody who's watching Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batzel art is probably well aware, but now there's a gap I could stick something in, and I've got some white metallic from Anita's that I like to do things like that with, as long as it'll come out. And since there's no commercials on this channel, it's permission to do whatever weird momentary inspired thing that I can. And that includes moving that paint down that way. I kind of hate losing the paint I've got over here. And I don't have to if I use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. Which reminds me, you guys, if you would shop the Amazon link, you would help me out. Because I'm making 10% of what I made last year, and it's not, it's not going well. <laughs> and you can find the Amazon link if you should be interested in doing that right under the link tree that's under the video. So I said I like that turquoise, so why not use it, you know? It went from ring pour to whatever pour. So I'm going to use that edge catcher consistently. I'm going to move it down so I don't have too much more paint. And I'm going to cant my canvas so, so I'm only tipping off most of the paint right at that end. And then I'm going to shove it right back into the canvas and try and knock off anything that wanted to come wanted to get away. Now you might wonder how I decide that I'm done, but I don't really stop until I get what I want. <laughs> Sounds like a woman thing. And did I use enough Prussian blue in there? Because I kind of think I didn't. So I'm inclined to, let's see, let's take some of the white pearl. It's white metallic. I call it pearl because it's very pearly. And then, I like the Prussian blue, can be almost any brand, it usually comes in a tube, so you're going to have to change the viscosity. Let's put enough in there. That's sort of a puddle pour. I don't know what that's going to do, that's why I did that, because I want to know what that's going to do. How far the inner circle of paint is going to push. the outer circle of paint and how far I want to let that roll down before I then push it right back in again. It's just good to experiment in the way you move things. I'm going to use my thumbnail. I'm not worried about that blank spot or those blank spots on this edge over here. And I might still do anything. I wonder if I can get that soundtrack off. I really didn't even hear the music. So at this point, I'm just going to take that paint, move it down to the blank spot, and let it flow back into the painting again. And I can do that somewhere else, like right here. 
and hope that it's going to be interesting because I basically I'm just always hoping that it's going to be interesting. And I'm going to take whatever paint I've got. It's always very blue. I hear that thunder. I got thunder. Uh oh. Well, I might not be out here very long today. I gotta say that. But rain is sometimes lucky for designing. And what else do I have that I want to do something with? I want some of that purple right there without tipping the canvas. I'm gonna dip my finger right in the right in the pour cup. I'm gonna look at my edges. I'm gonna take the drips off the bottom, stick them right on the side. And it, the one thing about enamel I'm never used to is the fact that it's going to continue to make cells, which is kind of cool. Now, if I don't like that white negative space area to be plain, there is nothing except for that big lump of paint on the end of that skewer to keep me from adding the odd waggle. And because Prussian blue is so strong, there's no way you can't get something interesting as far as shapes go. I've been using the Prussian blue with the white to make froth for, uh, for ocean foam on waves. I just want to use all of that. I think what I'm going to do is look into my cup, decide I have plenty of paint, maybe more than I need. Use what I think I need in the corner there. Save the rest for something else. Do I need any more gold? I kind of do because that gold looks so lonely up there. Unless I want to leave it, I need more to make the eye move around. I'm not sure gold ever belonged in this piece, to tell you the truth. But now that it's here, I'm going to deal with it. So I'm going to swivel my turntable, grab a clean edge catcher. Well, clean is a relative term. A dry edge catcher. I'm going to take the paint that I've got on my turntable and put it right on the painting, which I'd like to do more of, because it hasn't dried into glop yet. And the more I take off my turntable, the less mess I have and the less waste. So I'm going to just turn, turn the canvas this way and that until I begin to get something that I want. And I think I'm just going to grab this much shorter piece of acetate to let that paint go over. Because you don't need, if you're not tipping all the paint off one side, then you don't need to make it all go away. I'm going to rock my edge catcher. Then I'm going to put that same piece with all that paint ready, ready and willing right back next to this. And the paint that's about to join it will probably meld with it and allow me to, ha to add a rivulet. I hope. There we go. There's my rivulet. It's a little bit like wrestling. Paint wrestling! I've got a naked corner and my finger will fix that. I've got more paint dripping off the bottom in a couple places and a few holes that need to be touched up. And I am going to take whatever's on my edge catcher right now, put it right into the missing spot. Because I don't know that I want to tip anymore. But if I do want to tip anymore, paint flows to paint. So I don't hate what I've got, but I kind of want some Prussian blue in there that's going to be dramatic. And I have learned that I love adding a fresh line of paint of some kind, messing it about with a skewer, and then with any luck at all it will flow in a direction I pointed in. I'm not sure where I want that to go yet though, but it's more interesting than it was by far, at least for me. I kind of think if I could get that to go up here that it would make me happy. We'll see what happens. There's some nice stuff up there already, but I needed that dark area to be dramatic like that. And I may flow it back again, because I really like the turquoise. Let's let that go right over a little bit. And then right back down. And I still haven't torched, and I probably don't have as much time left as I'd like. I don't hate what I've got. 
but I don't love it as much as I want to yet. So I'm going to do the same thing I did again. Only this time I'm going to put my skewer in there, and that makes me happier already. Do I want anything else? I've got a lot of cloud, cloudy pour effects going on. I don't really need to do anything to that if I don't want to because of the GAC 800 by Golden. But sometimes if you just aren't as happy as you want to be with your end result, it's okay to take a chance on moving things or allowing things to move into directions you feel will be more acceptable? I don't know, that doesn't sound too thrilling. So let's take my straw and even though I have some beautiful colors ooh, now I have some more beautiful colors the straw is going to put a few spirals in there And hopefully I can add a few lines that make my composition please me more. And as you agitate the paint, you're always likely to stimulate cells. And I used up all that time playing. So i got to tell you, thank you for sharing my videos. I really appreciate it when you do. Not too many people doing that. I'm going to leave that other color right in there and that one. Just to see what else is around here. If I'm not in love with that gold, maybe I'll... do something different with it as well. Now I like the purple, but I like it better when I move it with my straw. Maybe it'll be lucky to have a one song with a with one um, video with an issue. <laughs> Probably not. But you never know. All right. So I'm going to torch. I'm going to tell you guys I love you. I'm going to say there's over 500 subscribers here. Woohoo! But there is 87,505 when I left Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. Excuse me, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery for Silvat Cell. So this is pretty cool. Honestly, I like it better now than I did before. Once you torch, you should not expect to um, to put tools in things, but it never seems to stop me. So th the trick to that is, instead of putting tools in, just go ahead and add some more paint. And as long as the paint is fresh, you can blow it around. And even though there isn't a lot of gold in there, it's okay. I'm probably going to torch again after you leave. Uh, just because I want to get all the bubbles out because once the bubbles form they get hard and uh, They're impossible to get rid of once it's dry Either that or they pop and they leave little craters and we don't like them either So there's a drawing but you have to go to expressionist art studio gallery Priscilla Batzel and look for the the la the video in the last 20 seconds of any video and You'll see what the prizes are included in the exhibition video there Check my Amazon link, shop there if you want to be helpful. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a nice comment. Thank you for the like, nice comments you guys leave me. Um, please subscribe. And uh, I lost my other crib sheet, so. Teespring Clothing is on the other channel under the video, but under the link tree you're going to find that all the links that you could possibly want, including all my Facebook group links, are right under there under that link tree, and it's right under the video. I love you guys. I will see you guys anon. I'm going to torch as you go. And I'll check my edges one more time and call it good. So it's a cloudy ring pour. Cloudy traveling, rib traveling ribbon ring pour cloudy enamel thingy. <laughs> but it's got great colors and it's a lot of fun. And I actually saved it because I wasn't too happy for a little while there. I love you guys. I'll see you anon. that up.